Hey, you got Fox here. It's Sunday, you know what that means. Mailbag day. We'll answer some questions first and then get to picking games. All right, first question from Kevin Marcel. Have you decided on a schedule you'd like to go with? And that dude Sly, what was this and why did I miss it? They're talking about the stream that I did Friday night and YouTube automatically uploaded the video uh, right after it ended, which was kind of cool and a definite um, benefit of going with YouTube. But I would say YouTube is not uh, what I will be going with in the future just because you can't see the comments after the video is ended. The Sorry, the stream is ended and the video is made into a video on demand. With Twitch, you can, and I feel that offers a big benefit. Hopefully, YouTube adds that functionality in the future, but I think I'll be going with Twitch in the future. And I, I will you guys want me to set, send out like a video so you guys get like a notification uh, when I go on Twitch? Because I'll probably end up doing it. I don't know. I, to answer Kevin, I'm not quite sure on a schedule yet. I'll probably want something regular for you guys. Um, you know, something consistent that would help you guys tune in. Um, and know when I go, but I, well, YouTube will be my first, of course, um, priority going forward over Twitch, but um, we'll see. I, I, I'll get more information to you guys in the future, and let me know about that if you guys want a video to come, pop up and to let you guys know that I'm going live. Um, next question from Mlang0385. Um, when is the Dime Flat video coming out? Uh, the Dime Flat, me and Embry, we recorded it earlier uh, this week last I think on Thursday or something but my capture equipment didn't really work so I had to re-record it we re-recorded it today Saturday uh, when I'm recording this Saturday night and hopefully it'll come out either Tuesday or Thursday after I get editing it together it's quite long and I don't really want it to be I think it was like an hour and a half or so I, I'm gonna try to edit it down a little bit try to keep it under an hour for the scheme but there's a lot of information that Embry and we, there's a lot of offenses that you'll face split close trips you gotta get that inside zone those verticals to defeat um, so it's it's gonna come out it's gonna be long and it's gonna be information rich uh, but uh, hopefully this week all right Zach McCall do you have a dog I do not and how's Culpepper Culpepper is uh, he, he was very good I, I ended up replacing him for Stafford and the reason is Stafford having better throw power, as you saw, if you saw the my stream video, I went through the lineup. Stafford has better throw power and all throw accuracy stats with similar speed and other things like that. So that's, uh, I had to upgrade because he's the better statistically um, over Culpepper. But Culpepper was great for me. Um, I really liked him. He had just enough speed. 79, I, it's on the low end, of course. It's not, you know, Donovan McNabb and... I might switch back to a more mobile quarterback because, you know, people running man defense leave themselves vulnerable to the uh, scramble. And I and you guys, if you saw, I, I do some option plays too. That's the shovel option, which is an effective uh, counterpoint to inside zone. So, Culpepper, I, I would rate him. Uh, not, I, I'm not going to do a player review on him. I would give him a 9 out of 10, I would say. A decent, good accuracy, and I love the throw power on him. All right, are you eating though? Um, Gut Fox, what's your opinion on using players mutts that are on a rival team, your favorite team? I do it, um, definitely do it. Um, example, you like the Steelers and you, but use Andy Dalton at quarterback. Do you care about that, or you just care about winning? Uh, winning. See, these players, they play for the opponent's team, but they never wear their jerseys. So I will put them on my team. Uh, I will use Andy Dalton if he was good enough, um, but I like Stafford better. So I do not uh, mind using my opponents players at all I care about winning and having the best team possible all right Danny Hassan for the next week what car does gut Fox drive here is a picture of it it's a Lincoln town car I've gotten everything uh, comments from it that I am you know should be dealing some drugs out of it uh, because it is very spacious and roomy enough for a couple bodies in the back there to you know old man comments because it's a uh, Lincoln cars are generally for older people but um, it drives well it's it's older. It's a 98, so what's that? 17 years old. Older than uh, a lot of people that uh, might be friends of mine online here in Madden. So it, it, it works well for me, though. Um, let me know what you guys think of it. What cars do you guys drive? Next question. Gut Fox, what is your favorite play that the community does not know about yet? Uh, it's got picked a couple times this year, and so I've generally learned to run it off the left side because the right side tends to be more well defended with users. 
But so, shotgun formation, halfback, left of the quarterback. And I wouldn't say this is unknown. It's just underused using your running back on the streak route. So basically, you have um, two wide receivers to the left, halfback, left of the quarterback, a tight end, right, and a wide receiver, far right. Your left wide receiver, far left, is on a streak. The slot receiver is on a slant. The uh, halfback's on a um, fly route. Your tight end is on a drag, and the other receiver can do whatever it wants, probably just a streak or whatever. Uh, but your uh, reads that uh, tight end slant should take both the linebacker and the user linebacker and pull them across the middle to try to defend that slant first. And then you throw right behind it to the uh, halfback coming out of the backfield on a fly. He should be able to get space there between them and uh, get usually 10 yards, 13 yards, sometimes more, if uh, he gets over the linebackers well enough. But, uh, and then if, if that gets even covered, if it's like man coverage, then you look to that drag from the tight end across the middle. Someone with good speed like Ladarius Green would be a good option there on the drag. So those are your reads. Uh, slant often does come open, of course, against man coverage if the user doesn't defend it. Um, so check that play out. That one killed for it in 15, but I haven't really used it much in 16 as much. Just because I haven't been using the same playbook and the Titans playbooks changed since 15 significantly. All right, let's predict the games. I guess I don't have much time left. That's it for questions. Unfortunately, I don't get to look through the uh, Ask Reddit new page today, but uh, thumb the breaks. Maybe next week. New Orleans at Atlanta. I will take Atlanta. Even though given four. Actually, I don't have much time at all. I'm just going to run through the games. New York Jets at Buffalo. Let's go with Buffalo. They're getting three. They're at home. And plus, I want the New York Jets to lose so that the Steelers make the playoffs. The only real games that count for me, you know, Jets and Steelers game because the Steelers bumbled it against Baltimore and Mallet. Uh, Detroit Chicago, I'll go with Chicago. It's an even money game. Uh, home team. Baltimore at Cincinnati. Cincinnati's favorite by seven and a half. I don't know. Maybe maybe Baltimore puts strings together. I think Baltimore already had their Super Bowl, so I'll take Cincinnati. Pittsburgh because you have to, even though they're favored by ten. Gotta take Pittsburgh. Need to make the playoffs. I really want a playoff game to keep me invested in this NFL. Washington at Dallas. I'll go with Washington, even though the road team, whatever. Tennessee at Indianapolis. I will take the home team, Indianapolis. New England at Miami. New England favored by 10. I'll take New England. New York Giants at Philadelphia. Oh, sorry. Philadelphia at the Giants. I will take the Philadelphia, because why the heck not? Um, they are without a coach, and they'll probably be motivated. Who knows? It's week 17. Oh, I didn't tell you my record on the year. Uh, I ended up, I'm 90 and 89, so I'm one game over 500 for the whole year. Let's see the rest of them. I'll take Houston, San Diego, Oakland, Seattle, St. Louis, Tampa Bay, Green Bay, and that is it. Thanks for watching. Call to action. I'll see you tomorrow.